So in all we have seven types of primitive cells. We, we saw that that our unit cell is primitive and center. Okay. Fine. They are primitive and centered. <coughs> there are seven types of primitive cells. Okay. Based on varying A, B, C and alpha, beta, gamma. Based on varying values of A, B, C and alpha, beta, gamma. Fine. So, what are the types? We we write the written here. Crystal system. Crystal system is that. Then we have possible variations with this pause ah, this this is better written <coughs> thank you so these are crystal systems possible variations fine axial distances or edge length edge length edge length axial angles axial angles and the most important are the examples Okay. Many times they are asked. So the first that I encounter is the cubic. The first that I encounter is is the cubic. Okay, so we are doing these seven types. So first is cubic. Variations, variations are primitive, body centered, face centered. Primitive, body centered, face centered. What are the edge lengths since it is cubic? Obviously, we understand A is equal to B is equal to C. And the axial angles, alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma is equal to 90 degree. Alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma is equal to 90 degrees. Three variations, OK? So these are the three Breville lattices. We should correspond them. Example is NaCl zinc blend. NaCl, NaCl, zinc blend. What do, you, what do you mean by zinc blend? And copper. They are cubic structures. Okay. Now, parallelly, let us try to draw them. So we had said that they lie along the x, y and the z axis. Fine. This is what we had drawn. And 
they are somehow like this so 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 this was my a so a and b and c so so it goes like that this b this that's a perfect cube okay so when we are talking about our primitives we are saying that it has lattice points at the corners so so that this is a primitive cubic fine i want a primitive body centered at the center goes let me let me let me draw it with some other this is my primitive body centered and primitive face centered there's one here there's one there there's one here there's one there there's one here there's one here i um, hope you understand it in 3d this is for this front face that is facing towards you okay and 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 this green is the back face fine so these are the three if we take only the black it is primitive cubic if we take the black and the red it is body centered if we take the black and the green it is face centered okay so this this only black black and red black and green face center in the middle hmm nahi that's why i'm saying black and green so body centered cubic that becomes bcc then face centered cubic becomes fcc right that way then we come to tetragonal tetragonal so tetragonal is tetragonal what do we have we have primitive and body centered primitive body centered okay and what happens this this equality turns into inequality everything else remaining the same fine example example is white tin so tin compounds tin hmm stannous oxide titanium oxide calcium sulfate white tin stannous oxide titanium oxide calcium sulfate so what happens see this is my a this is my b this is my c so what has happened in this what has happened in this let me remove this remove this remove this remove this remove these 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 remove these 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 so c becomes a bit taller okay so a is still equal to b but it is not equal to c so so this will also have to go correct this will have to go this this has to go and i i 
extend it a bit so it becomes something like this 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 okay we understand so nothing you just pull the cube up we had a cube stretched cube i'll i'll say this as the cube stretched in vertical direction according to our okay according to our our nomenclature so that is it so and and primitive is again the the same four there and the body centered is if we have also red in the center okay so primitive is all black black and red is body centered fine because uh, they must not have come across certain things ho nahi sakta aisa nahi it's not that it's not possible but we have found that out on the basis of whatever we have seen physically present so no point defining something that does not exist otherwise otherwise what will it happen what what will happen it will simply become 7 into 4 28 straight away right 7 into 4 because everything will have a primitive body centered face centered end centered hmm? but it is not so somehow the molecules that we find they they do not follow that pattern but yes technically algebraically geometrically speaking it can okay no issues so the third is orthorhombic ortho rhombic keep on drawing it maybe no one is going to ask you but you should have a thorough inside out kind of understanding huh and given given to draw something you should be able to draw it ortho rhombic here what had what, what happens the second constraint also falls so a is not equal to b is not equal to c but ortho tells me that alpha is still equal to beta is still equal to gamma is equal to 90 degrees okay and here we find all the all the types so it has a primitive it has a primitive it has a, a body centered it has a face centered and it has an end centered thing okay how do i draw that here a is also not equal to b so so my job is easy if i just shift this so it is a perfect cuboid in the sense that we have been doing in in surface areas and volumes it is a perfect cuboid so what happens this also goes ahead correct so it's something like that something like that this goes like that again comes down like this here here so what happens the same cubic i stretch like this i stretch like that okay perfect cuboidal where these are not equal otherwise it's one and the same and we have we have rhombic sulfur potassium nitrate and barium sulfate rhombic rhombic sulfur sulfur potassium nitrate and barium sulfate these are important you should always always remember this one or two normally drops in okay so that is orthorhombic nothing nothing but a uh, a cuboid in the sense that we we have been studying the cuboid but you people are not drawing it hmm why 
श्रुति क्या नहीं आता क्यों नहीं हो पाएगा उसमें करना क्या है आप तीन पपड़ने की तरह लाइन ड्रॉ करो अपने आप ड्रॉ होता है सब परफेक्ट क्या मतलब ऐसा थोड़ी है इट कैन चेंज ओके फाइन इट मे बी समर्फेक्शन विल बी अलाउड नो इश्यूज ड्रॉ इट एंड इन दैट आई हैव द प्रिमेटिव प्रिमेटिव इज ऑल ब्लैक ब्लैक एंड रेड इज दैट ब्लैक एंड ग्रीन इज दैट एंड एंड सेंटर्ड आई शुड लुक फॉर अ ब्लू पेन Fine. Maybe a black and a blue. Okay. So, so, so this may have a body centered is all the blacks and the blue, and the black and the green I had reserved for. for the the front face and the back face some issue okay and maybe for for an end center i draw it something just beside this though it is at the center though it is at the center okay though it is at the same spot but i have just moved it a bit the blue one if you if you understand what i say mm -hmm. fine so all the four have been drawn into one you consider all the blacks and the blue that means remove everything that becomes your end center so for end center what will happen this and this everything else forgotten the corners will stay top and bottom dots will stay everything gone the green and reds will be gone right okay now it becomes interesting and it is easy also don't worry so it's hexagonal it's hexagonal huh? you are not making this table also i did good so i'll immediately erase it now hmm huh? so for the hexagonal what do we have for the hexagonal i have a is equal to b which is not equal to c i have a is equal to b not equal to c alpha is equal to beta is equal to 90 degree gamma is 120 degrees okay in hexagonal we normally come across a primitive structure okay so all the blacks all the blacks We'll go next next video.